stat change. Uh, this is one you can do uh, anytime. You can uh, change the spectator's card, uh, or change it on a different card into the spectator's card. Or you could, uh, you know, just do it uh, quickly in a routine uh, in the middle of tricks. It's really a utility move. You can put it anywhere you, you see fit. It's a great thing. Uh, I don't know who originated it, but it's called the Snap Change. Maybe Ed Marlowe's Snap Change, I believe. Um, so you're going to start off, you're going to pry two cards off the bottom. Actually, no, I'll show it to you first. I'll show it to you. This is what it's going to look like here. And you show them a card. Say, hey, check out that card. Isn't that silly? Look at that. Just change how to do that. Just change to a queen. Look at that. That's as far as it goes. Snap change. Ed Marlowe. Really, really fantastic move. Okay, so start off, you're going to pry two cards off the back and put them together. Okay, I'll do that again. You go with your thumb, one, two, together. And then push it forward on the deck. Okay. And you want to, with your left thumb, you want to just kind of hold it there, and pivot the card over, and then show it in your left hand on top of the deck, kind of like above the deck. You're holding it there, you're supporting it with your fingers and thumb above the deck. And then you want to get it in this position, thumb on the bottom, and to your index and your middle right there, just covering the six and the heart. It's probably where you want it. And then you're just going to, going to snap your fingers. And look at that. I'll do it one more time. Pry two cards off the bottom. I'm going to flip them like that. Get them in a good position here. Okay? And you're going to want to just snap your finger. Snap, meaning with your middle finger. Pulling down, leaving your index on the other card, snapping it forward, while well, this one gets pulled back here, and it's covered by this card. As long as you're holding it at eye level, they can't see anything. And that's it. You just snap and it's over. Try two cards. Push it forward, flip it, grab it in a good position, and snap your fingers, and that's it. You've done the change. Just want to work on the snap for now. Grab it in that position, however you get it in there, make sure the cards are nice and even, because if they see this, they're not going to believe that's one card. Believe me, you gotta make sure it's nice and even. A good way to make sure it stays even in this position is hold it tight. Just practice holding it tight, different firmness, and uh, keep it in, uh, you know, conjunction as long as you can. Okay, I'm doing it very dramatic, but I'll slow it down right now. I'll slow it right down here. Okay, now there's one problem you may face. Okay, I'm going to move on now. So if you need that, if you need to see that again, just rewind it. There's one problem you may face. You do the snap change, and then you've got uh, nowhere to put this. Simple solution. Okay, you're going to bring your hands together momentarily and drop that card on there. Okay? Do 
the snap change and you're going to bring this hand together and drop that card. Let go of it with your middle finger. Your middle finger was holding it, you just pull that middle finger right in and it'll let that card go. And the moment you do that, you let it go, you bring this card forward with your fingers and you snap it with the thumb that was holding the deck. Because for every movement you do in magic, there has to be a reason behind it. Okay? And if you're going to bring these hands together, like I'll show you what it looks like when I don't do the snap. Okay? No, I'm sorry, I do the snap, but then I don't do the flick, so I'll just bring it together. What does that look like? Looks like I dumped a card on the deck. But what does this look like in comparison? Alright, do the snap change. And I'll show you, look, that's legitimately one card. That looks good. Okay, you got to make sure that every movement you do has a reason and a means behind it. Okay? So... Right, one more time. You can even bring your hand and kind of flick it, flick the change like that. And that's pretty crazy looking. You know what I mean? Hello? Hey, dude. What are you doing, buddy? Honey, I'm gonna breathe. Just as long as you bring me. Sorry about that. So, yeah, well, as I was saying, you can always get into position here, bring your hand to it, and flick it like that, and really give it a good change. And that ace of spades, man, that's a pretty looking change right there. You got the ace, it's an unforgettable card, I was like, oh, ace of spades, gone. Did that a bit fast, but... Perfect change. And everyone, everyone wonders where that card went, and no one, no one, no one thinks that anyone's fast enough to just quickly s s slap it back on the deck without anyone noticing. Anyone noticing? Like, it, like when you're in a group of people, if their eyes don't catch it, they trust the people they're with enough that, you know, if they saw something, the person, you know, everyone, everyone would know. You got to keep every. First of all, you can't let anyone see anything. Because then they'll go, oh, I see you have two cards there. Or I see you have uh, you have the deck part open in the middle, you're holding it with your thumb. What are you doing with that? I you, man. I hear you, mama. Hey, hey. Here comes Sal with a note all told. Doctor said you can smell no more, Lord, go. Ribbon spread is a good thing.